What's up, it's YZJ here and today we are going to look at the volume formula of a regular tetrahedral and it's derivation of course, let's go! The tetrahedron is a pyramid and the area of a pyramid is a third times the area of base times height. Well, in our case, we've got a triangular base. And the area of a triangle is base times height, the first height, the height of the triangle over 2. That's the area of the triangle, and we've, we've also got the second height, the height of the tetrahedral. However, this is too many variables for a formula, so we're going to substitute the first height and the second height in terms of x. Substitution of the first height, this is the base triangle. The first height forms a right angle right here. The other two sides are known. You know, we've got x on the other side because this is an equilateral triangle and all sides are equal. Here we've got half of x and since it has a right angle inside, this is a right angle triangle, obviously. So, since it's a right angle triangle, Yo, now we've substituted the first height, the height of the base triangle, and we put it back into the equation where the first height is supposed to be. Of course, we simplify it. And now we need to substitute the second height. Substitution of the second height. If we look at it from another perspective, we can see another right angle triangle inside the tetrahedral. And we've got another unknown side, and we name it Y. Since it's a right angle triangle, Substitution of y. So, this is the base triangle. y is the hypotenuse of a right angle triangle. One side of the right angle triangle is known, and one of the angle is known, 30, 30 degree. Well, inter angle of an equilateral triangle, 60, half of that, 30. So now we could use the trigonometry to substitute y. Now we put the modified y back into the equation. Now we've substituted the second h and we put it back into the equation. As a result, we've got x to the power of 3 over 6 times square root of 2. If you like this video, give me a like and check out this video on the surface area of polyhedrons as well. See you next time!